Hi there. Let's talk about investing when you are in Kenya and also the type of investment accounts which you need to have for you to be able to invest well in Kenya. Guys, investing is very important. And I'm talking about finding a way to make your money work for you or in essence, getting a way of increasing or multiplying your money. Guys, it is through investing that any of us out there can be able to see their wealth increase. They can be able to unlock a day in their life where they won't need to work for no one, rather their money is going to be working for them. That's why I'm passionate about making videos around investing, personal finance, and also showing you places out there for you to get ideas. If you love the kind of work I do, kindly consider joining this family by subscribing. Subscribe to this Money Daily TV for you to be getting such awesome videos each and every day. Having said that, the starting point is for us to reflect a bit. Guys, the economy is crazy and actually is getting tougher and tougher by the day. That tells you that the demands in coming in the future are going to continue being more and more strenuous. We are talking about the government is going to continue increasing tax on you, okay? We are talking about the cost of living is going to continue increasing, you name it. In case there is a way, for example, even for you to reduce the tax burden, for you to increase your income, go for it. And by the way, you could be sitting there thinking, maybe you don't have enough money to invest. Guys, there isn't no right time to invest other than now. Invest now. Start with whichever amount of money you have. Of course, I know there are those kind of investments out there which have a minimum amount which you can put in. Well and good. But also, we have other investments out there which don't really require for you to have any minimum amount. Start today. You have no reason not to be investing already. Start today, start with whichever little amount of money you have, and then over time, you can be able to increase your desired portfolio amount. But the key thing is to start because the learning curve is the same and also you're going to go through the same journey for you to be able to learn the ropes of investing. Having said that, which are the awesome investments you can do and also the investing accounts you can have in Kenya? Guys, when you're talking about investment, most people out there just think about stock market only. They think about shares or stocks of different companies out there. That's what is visible to many people out there when you're talking about investing. Or even so, they think about the physical real estate. Buildings, mansions, malls, commercial stores, you name it. Despite all these guys, we also have those kind of intangible investments which you can make and then get other people out there, get professionals to work for you. That's why I'm sharing with you these five accounts which you need to have for you to be able to invest well in Kenya. The first account is SACO account. I'm pretty sure all of you know about SACO. SACOs are essentially those coming together of people bound by a given idea. For example, maybe it is farming, maybe it is transport. And even so of recent, we are seeing even companies having their own SACO kind of investment and so forth. For example, in Kenya, we have Steamer Sako, which is dominantly Kenya Power, Kenjen, and so forth employees. Guys, we even have commercial banks out there which have their respective Sakos. Sakos are a good way for you to start investing. More so, if you're thinking about a capital intensive or even a high amount of capital you're going to require in future, you can start now and then maybe in the next couple months. Because a good number of Sakos out there require for you to having been an active member for over six months for you to be able to even borrow any amount of money. In case you're going to need to borrow in future, jump on a circle, guys. And even so, it's going to be good, for example, in case you are in multiple circles. Because circles out here allow for you to actually borrow even up to three times your investment. Okay? It, it allows to borrow up to three times the amount of money you saved. That's how beautiful it is. Guys, there is a plane passing the other side. Look at it. That's the plane making noise. So as I was saying, circles actually allow for you to borrow even up to three times the amount of money you've saved. How awesome is that? To give you an example, maybe you saved one in Kenya shillings in a circle. You can even borrow up to three million Kenya shillings. And by the way, you can borrow in multiple circles. That tells you if you're thinking about a high intensive capital activity, maybe building a house, maybe building rentals, you name it. Start having a circle account which is active. 
because in a few months it's going to be useful for you to also cash out or apply for this kind of financing because it is a better financing compared to commercial banks because of low interest rate and also less strenuous conditions. And then the second type of account you need to have is a CDS account by the Central Bank of Kenya. Guys, in case you want to invest in government bonds, maybe talk about treasury bills, you name it, you're going to need to have this particular CDS account. And the thing is that when it comes to investing in government securities, you're going to need to have a minimum amount of money which is required. And in Kenya, it is 100,000 Kenya shillings for you to be able to invest in all of this particular government kind of assets. Talk about treasury bills, bonds, you name it. But the good thing is that with this, you're going to be able to get interest off your investment because the interest is quite high. And in fact, I was looking at last year's statistics. There was a publication around the government having paid on average 13% return. In essence, 13% interest on people who are holding different bonds with the government. That is very beautiful if you think about it. And I'm saying so because out here even commercial banks, assuming even it's a fixed deposit account, rarely do they go past 10%. That's how awesome it is. The government went above 10%. And also the beauty with this, guys, it is tax-free. You are getting your return on investment tax-free. How awesome can it get? Okay? And then the third type of account you need to have is a money market fund account. Of late, there has been traction in Kenya with regards to money market fund. More so because these are the type of investments which are anchored on a purpose. You could have a goal, for example, on education. Maybe you could have a goal on a getting thing out there, maybe emergency. Guys, money market fund is a good thing to jump into. And in fact, money market fund, we're talking about there being tens in this country. A good number of them anchored in banks, even others anchored in investment companies out there. Like, for example, Cyton, Britam, you name it. All these is a way of you putting your money down and then it's going to be entrusted to a given money market fund manager to at least assist you anchor this particular investment. And be sure the returns are pretty good. Because to give you an example, last year I was just seeing the returns on such an investment, for example, is over 10%. Of course, for most money market funds in Kenya, the returns somewhere between 7% to about 10%. That tells you it is a better investment compared to just having your money lying in a bank which doesn't even give you any return, okay? And then the fourth investment account which you need to have is you investing or having a brokerage account which is going to assist you invest in the stock market in Kenya. Talk about the over 64 equities in the Nairobi Securities Exchange. Guys, you can, for example, buy shares of Safaricom, buy shares of, for example, Kakuzi, buy shares of, for example, Standard Group, buy shares of, for example, KCB Bank, you name it. But for this, you're going to need to have a central depository security account. In other words, also you're going to need to have an even account with a given investment management fund out there or brokerage for you to be able to invest in this. And the beauty is that also in the stock market, you can be able to get a return. Of course, it wouldn't be that incentive of a return, but guys, it is a return which is also going to be awesome for you, assuming your funds will have remained the same and into invested in the stock market. And by the way, we're talking about on average annually, stock market having a return of about 7% in Kenya. Jump on it and hopefully you can also be able to make money off investing in the stock market. And then the fifth account, which I think you need to consider having is a unit trust fund account and of course personally i'm thinking about unit trust fund accounts with a bearing or a bias on looking at investing in bonds guys unit trust funds accounts are actually anchored on the principle of people pulling together their resources and then having a fund trustee or manager assisting them manage this money in essence they're going to be making decisions around priority investments and so forth the good thing is that also with different unit trust funds out there, there is enough information for you to know they are biased on which investments before you even jump on it. But be sure, in case you can be able to jump on these, also in the same breath, just like the money market funds, you're going to be able also to make good amount of return because you're talking about roughly on average around 8% return on your investments. 
if you don't have any other option out there consider these accounts i've spoken about today and be sure you can be able to start getting return of your money as opposed to just holding money in your bank account more so a current bank account which isn't really giving you any return what do you think about this video i hope you've gotten an idea or two with regards to the kind of accounts you can open and you being on course to investing in this awesome country of ours cheers guys i look for share with you guys other awesome videos next time bye bye and you all take care